Good morning, guys. It is an amazing day in LA, and we are heading to a festival called Lightning in a Bottle. I'm with Raya, and Sorel has literally just landed from Sydney. And yeah, we're about to head off on a road trip. We just stopped past Whole Foods to get some snacks for the journey. It's only like two hours away. <laughs> Longest road trip. Before. Yeah, <laughs> not a massive road trip. <laughs> Got a <our> coffee. <sighs> Well, we can just park anyway, anyway. I guess so. I don't know how we'll find somewhere though. Yay! We have arrived. We're gonna go and find some of our friends that are here. Cam, a lot of the kind of yoga hippie crowd that I know from Venice are gonna be here like doing some acro yoga and body painting and stuff. There's like cool buses and RVs everywhere. Check this amazing bus out. Yes. This is so good. Guys, check this out. This festival is on the side of a lake and people are just chilling in the water. I wish I knew because I would have um, brought some swimming shorts, but we'll know for next year. I'm still tempted to jump in. It looks so good. Yes, bro. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> yes. Yes. Wow. awesome. <laughs> Guys, check out this bus. And they're giving away free sorbet. They've actually built like a normal school bus into like a double decker. Whoa. Thanks. We just stumbled across this tent and this woman's talking about making like incredible like chocolate that can heal you of things. She's like adding amazing ingredients that are all like super healthy. We're like, we're just trying to like figure out what's going on in this whole festival. And we're just wandering around and there's like little stages. I don't even know what this is. This is some cool little installation. It's like amazing. People are floating right now. <laughs> yeah, and then there's literally the lakes right there and people are just chilling on a watermelon inflatable. Whoa. Oh yeah. Wait, why is that not us though? Why are we not just loving? Bumped into Jesse and Tony. Hey! <laughs> Cam's getting painted up by Sunny with the tribal markers. Yeah. And just chilling back at camp. Okay, we're coming on in for a tour. Give us the okay. tour. Oh, wow. the tour. So here's here's the living room. Oh yeah, nice. Well, you know we got a doing kitchen. the makeup. We got all the snacks, you know. Coat rack. Coat rack, super essential. Clothes. And one tent leads to another tent. Oh what? Oh, and then you just have a big aircon unit. Yeah. There's just Whoa. Yeah, plants, little lights, little dream catcher. Whoa. Especially at night when I lay down, I made it a spiral. So like all these. Oh, this is so beautiful. We 
have been resting, chilling, getting our faces painted for the, uh, the, a couple of hours. I don't know, I lost track of time. We are now heading to, I think they're doing some yoga. So we've got like more yoga suitable clothes. I've actually got some under my jeans. I've got some, some more loose trousers. Cam's got his cajon. You ready for yoga, Sorrel? Uh, I'm ready. I'm just gonna top up my water. Something I'm honestly amazed by this festival is that there's no rubbish, no trash anywhere. It's like so clean. If this was in the UK, you'd be wading through like plastic cups and beer cans, but it's amazing. Just so, yeah, it's just, even the toilets are just clean. And there's like little water stations. Honestly, guys, if you get a chance to come to Lining in a Bottle, you should come next year. I'm gonna come for the whole time. Time for yoga. Yes, Cam. Okay, Cam's flying Sorrel. Yeah. out from the uh, yoga it kind of turned into like yoga massage I just got an amazing massage it was great but we're ducking out because there is the most incredible sunset happening right now and we didn't want to miss it oh so good check this out Literally the best day. and dance we need to fuel up got a curry bowl and some vegan f cheesy fries and a raw cheesecake how's yours pizza. good raw pizza raw pizza don't really make it smack you know what i'm saying especially you with the smack <laughs>
tea room and this dude is making everyone tea. Okay, so although this festival is like five days long, we came on the second to last day and we literally just stayed for the entire day and we're driving home now. And it worked out pretty good. It's like 1 a.m. How are you feeling, Raya? Uh, tired, but awake enough to stay awake to keep you awake. Yeah. Um, we had a coffee, so we're good. Um, but I was just saying, I just think it's so much better. If we'd slept here tonight, we would have gotten up, got breakfast, like slowly rolled out. Tons of people would have been going. We would have gotten home by like afternoon, but now we can wake up in our own bed and still have a productive day tomorrow. So, so I'm very happy about that. <laughs> this is, this is Raya's like voice of reason in my life. I probably would have been like, yeah, let's just find somewhere. Let's just sleep in the car. And then we would have had a horrible night's sleep. And yeah. Anyway, I feel like I've just about got and enough energy. And it'll take us half the time to get back with yeah, no traffic. That's true. Yeah. Oh, we're going to try and squad out with um, Cam as well in his van. Oh yeah, Sorrel's in there, that's why. <laughs> we're not just leaving her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that was a... Felt like a pretty quick drive home. Definitely ready for bed. Um, Hope you guys enjoyed joining us for the day. Um, we're definitely gonna be going to the whole festival next year. Oh, Scout, hey. <laughs> um, yeah, it was a good taster, a good taster of lightning in a bottle. And um, what a great day, so much fun. Right, I'm gonna jump in the shower and then get some sleep. I'll catch you guys soon. Peace out. Enjoy life, live the adventure, boom.